Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Abdul Aziz Yusuf with a pediatric case review, and this is a new case today. A five years old boy presented with colicky abdominal pain started two days ago and getting worse. History revealed knee pain and the rash in the lower part of the body. This is the rash. We can see this is the uh, purpura or the rash. Examination showed palpable purpura in the lower limbs and the gluteal region. So, what is the most likely diagnosis? This is a classic presentation of Hinochian line purpura. So, the most likely diagnosis is Hinochian line purpura. And how to confirm this diagnosis? To confirm this diagnosis, the diagnosis is clinical. No investigation is needed to confirm the diagnosis. Uh, uh, so, there is a, tar a tetrad of palpable purpura, arthralgia or arthritis, abdominal pain, and the kidney diseases. Purpura always present in 100% of cases. The other symptoms uh, uh, are variable. Highlight the most common examination findings you may find in this child. Through general examination, we can find the hypertension. Uh, skin, we can find purpura and the edema. The purpura here uh, usually uh, symmetrical and located on pressure dependent areas like buttocks and lower limb. Edema, usually painful, non pitting in periorbital or dependent regions like hands, feet, and scrotum. Joints usually arthralgia or arthritis, and usually affects large joints of lower limbs. Abdomen usually diffuse abdominal pain, genital may testicular pain. By urine analysis, you can find hematuria and or proteinuria. So, any investigation to do for this patient, if classic presentation and diagnosis is clear, urine analysis is usually the only investigation needed. But if there is hypertension, microscopic hematuria, or significant proteinuria, Formal urine microscopy needed and urine protein creatinine ratio, also urea and electrolytes and albumin. Other investigations may be done uh, if the diagnosis is unclear or potential complications, like for blood count, urea and electrolytes, albumin, cultures, immunological investigations, etc. How will you manage abdominal pain and joint pain in this child? If the pain is mild, paracetamol and non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs can be used with caution. As contraindication of bleeding, GIT bleeding, or renal impairment may happen. If the pain is severe or moderate to severe, steroids can be used. What follow up should be done for inoxion night purpura? Regular GB or pediatrician review. So, what to review? You will review, check, you will check blood pressure and urine analysis weekly for the first months and then every two weeks and single review. Uh, 6 to 12 months. After 12 months, if uh, nothing, you can uh, discontinue this uh, checkup or follow up. So, does this uh, child need admission? If mild abdominal pain, no need for admission till now, according to this presentation above. But indications of admission should be in mind. GIT problem like moderate to severe pain or GIT bleeding. Genital problem like orchitis or inflammation of the testis. Uh, joints arthritis more than two joints or inability to ambulate both of them are indications of, for admission renal like proteinuria so microscopic hematuria not uh, uh, not a reason for admission but proteinuria always a reason for admission neurological or pulmonary involvement uh, also it is real but uh, are indications for admission i want to consider consultation with renal specialist Hypertension is the first you can, do, you can find by general examination and should uh, consult renal specialist. Uh, renal problems like abnormal renal function uh, uh, should be cons uh, you should consult uh, a renal specialist. Also, macroscopic hematuria or acute nephritis. Acute nephritis, we have uh, uh, hematuria in acute nephritis. So both of them I uh, put together. Macroscopic hematuria for five days. Uh, or acute nephritic syndrome. Next, persistent proteinuria or nephrotic syndrome. Also, nephrotic syndrome uh, uh, presented usually by proteinuria. By, but persistent proteinuria, if urine uh, protein creatinine ratio more than 250 milligram per mole for four weeks, this is, is called persistent proteinuria. Or more, more than 100 milligram per millimole for three months or more than 50 milligram per millimole for the six months. What is the prognosis? Prognosis, we will talk about the symptoms and the disease. Joint pain usually resolves spontaneously within 72 hours. So it's important to tell 
parents about that. Uncomplicated abdominal pain usually resolves spontaneously within 24 to 48 hours. The rash is the last symptom to resolve within four weeks. So the disease itself usually resolves within four weeks or one month. A first episode usually resolves within four weeks and in 25 to 35% of patients, Hennochelna purpura recurs at least once every within six, within four months. So the, within first uh, four months, uh, uh, 25 to 35% may recur again of the initial presentation. Subsequent episodes are usually associated with milder and shorter duration. And 90% of those who develop renal complication within two months and 97 within six months. So we are doing as a follow-up only for the first year. And after uh, uh, six months, we will do only one time at 12 months. Because of that, 97% uh, who develop renal complication usually in the first six months. Uh, so this is uh, two practical cases to discuss. A five-year-old presented with knee pain and non branchial rash on both lower limbs and the gluteal region. He looks well and pain improved with oral paracetamol. General examination, blood pressure 90 over 60, systemic examination, no abnormality detected, neural domestic microscopic hematuria. So also, uh, only we have microscopic hematuria. What is the next st step you should do here? This is charged with advice and follow-up. So no need for consultation, no need for admission. Second case, five-year-old child presented with knee pain and the non-blanching rash on both lower limbs. He looks well and uh, uh, pain improved with oral paracetamol. Uh, but general examination, blood pressure 90 over uh, 60. Abdominal examination, there is severe abdominal pain or orchitis and urine devastate, uh, a 3 plus protein oil. We have two reasons here for admission uh, and consultation, severe abdominal pain or three reasons, severe abdominal pain, orchitis and 3 plus protein oil. Also, if we, have, if we have here high blood pressure or the pain uh, severe, not improved, uh, all of these are indications for admission and a consultation. So the next step here should be admission steroids to control the severe abdominal pain and additional investigations, as we mentioned above, and consultation of new uh, uh, and consultation for nephrologists. So uh, this was a case of Hinochelnay uh, Barbara. I hope uh, this video uh, was helpful for you. Thank you for uh, watching.